Hi friends, welcome to our YouTube channel Agricultural Engineering. Today in our Agricultural Engineering Crash Course series, we are going to see lecture number 29, Shape and Round Nets. Now we are dealing with engineering properties of biological materials. In that we are dealing with shape and round nets. So without wasting much time, let's start. So before going for this lecture I would like to ask you one question the shape of wheat grain is there are four options oblate oblong conic or ovate so the shape when the shape is said to be round the, when the shape is approaching towards spheroid then it is called as round shaped for example sapota cherry tomato and pea are the example of round shape round shape then oblate shape for this shape this shape is flattened at the stem end and apex so the example is orange and pumpkin in oblong shape the vertical diameter is greater than horizontal diameter in case of rice we can see the vertical diameter is greater than horizontal diameter and the example of oblong shape is some apple varieties, capsicum, brinjal, rice and wheat. Now conic shape. As its name itself indicates its shape, it is similar to cone and tapered toward the apex. The example of this conic shape are lady's finger, carrot and radish. Ovet shape. Ovet shape is nothing but similar to egg shape but it is broad at stem end. The example of ovate shape is brinjal, apple and guava. Another is oblique shape. In this shape, axis connecting stem and apex are slated. Tomato is the example of oblique shape. And also some apple varieties are belong to oblique shape. Obovate shape. Uh, in this shape, it is inverted ovate which is broad at apex end. The example of obovate shape is mango and papaya. Elliptical shape. As name itself indicates is shape. In elliptical shape, it is approaching towards ellipsoid. The examples are rice, wheat and pointed guard. Trunket shape. Trunket shape having both hand squared or flattened. Means its both end are squared or flattened in the case of trunket shape. The example are capsicum. Here we can able to see the different shape, their description and their examples. So we have to keep in mind the description and shape and its example from exam point of view. So what is the application of shape? Means what we will achieve by defining the shape of any particular fruit and vegetable. So with the help of shape we can able to do sizing on the basis of fruit shape and which is effective for spherical commodities. Means for sizing purpose we should know the shape of fruit or vegetable. So after shape there are few terms. One is roundness. Most of the time in definition section or in multiple choice question they will ask dash dash is measure of sharpness of the corners of the solid and they will provide option roundness, sphericity like that. So roundness is a measure of sharpness of the corners of the solid. And in this roundness formula is given by AP by AC where AP is largest projected area of object at natural rest position and AC is area of smallest circumscribing circle. For that if suppose we have potato then we have to put it, in, it on graph paper then we have to trace its outside boundary. After tracing finishing with the help of compass we have to draw a 
a circle circumscribing circle which connects all its end means maximum it should be touched to that circumscribing circle and which is smallest one so then with the help of graph paper we have to measure the projected area of that particular potato and after that we have to measure the area by calculating diameter we can able to find the area of circumscribing circle so roundness is nothing but area of projected area projected area divided by circumscribing area so what is mean by roundness ratio roundness ratio is equal to small r divided by capital r where small r is radius of curvature of the sharpest corner we have to draw one circle at the sharpest corner and we have to measure its radius and capital r is mean radius of the object so we have to draw circle which is covering almost all the sides of projected fruit or projected vegetable and the mean radius is calculated as capital r so roundness ratio is r divided by r so there are two terms roundness and sphericity so how these two terms are varies so in krumbin roundness and sphericity chart we can able to see the difference between sphericity and roundness from this diagram we can see if sphericity is 0.9 and roundness is 0.9 then how shape will look in the topmost right hand corner we can see the shape is very close to roundness or round shape as well as spear shape so at that situation it is it is having high sphericity and high roundness ratio now whatever question we have asked at the starting of this lecture the answer is the shape of wheat grain is oblong so uh, we are happy to announce that we have launched our agricultural engineering mock test series 2022 and registration is already started and the last date of registration is 25th april 2022 so in this mcq mock test series we are going to cover more than 1800 mcqs and 16 plus test and the main characteristic of this mock test series is we are going to organize some bonus test which will cover some of the repeated questions or frequently asked questions in particular examination so please the description the registration link is given in the description box so thank you for watching our video for more such videos don't forget to subscribe our channel